so hello everyone i just wanted to check uh, if if i am audible enough uh, so you know we we can just start so i'll just wait for maybe couple of replies so are we are we audible so hello everyone Ajit. okay okay great so so we are live on uh, youtube and facebook today uh, so we have shorya again uh, he had uh, taken the first episode of coding idols and uh, he is one of the young guy that you know he is doing great in in you know lighting uh, you know writing uh, the lines of codes and today he would be taking part 2 of uh, the python programming so we have left somewhere on that day and now we will uh, uh, reconnect and then build something on 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 what we have learned on that day is, is that correct yeah superb superb so i'll just you know uh, you can you can take over in a moment and uh, uh, for all the viewers uh, we have exciting uh, webinars uh, coming in next you know for next few days so we have dr unnat pandit uh, who would be joining us tomorrow at 6 pm and then we have uh, he is basically uh, he is you know former uh, uh, director at uh, atal innovation mission niti ayog and then uh, on wednesday we have anand chawla who would, who is basically it director at podar group of institutes so he would be joining us on wednesday it would uh, it, it would be at 4 pm all the details would be available on all our social media platform and we would like all of you to you know come in good numbers and shorya now over to you i'll just uh, if you are ready we can switch ready uh, just a second yeah. i think i'll have to give you the access okay done okay shorya good morning all the lovely parents and my dear friends well i just take a moment to introduce myself my name is shorya i have been, i'm a student of st xavier's high school studying in grade 7 So I would like to tell you that I had started coding at the age of seven, which had include multiple platforms like Java, C plus plus, Python, Photoshop, and much more. Super. So in today's tutorial, we'll be continuing since last time we had left on the basics, and today we make a project on it. Okay. So I would just like to share my screen and tell you about the first basics. Okay. Yeah, you can you can screen share, and I think that would be okay. perfect. Now, just one second. Sure. So, all the viewers, you have to just open the Python uh, editor, and he would uh, start writing the code. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Now, just click on the Windows icon on the bottom left, as I had told you in the previous section. We need to install IDLE and we need Python on our systems to run these particular platforms and all. So now, click on the Windows icon. Type in IDLE. So this is one of the original softwares used for uh, writing code in Python. You can use like text editors like Sublime Text, Atom, Python. But we'll not take an overview on that. I'll tell you in the last tutorial. You can use, but first I'll just open my IDLE screen, and here you'll get this type of screen. Okay, perfect. Now uh, to make it simpler, I want you short. I want your shortcuts in this tutorial, since I just tell you the shortcuts so that you can use, or you might get confused. So first, I tell you to make a new file. This is known as the Python shell. You don't have to write code here, since we'll be writing multiple code lines. So just click on this file icon, and then click on new file. Now you'll get a screen like this. just full screen this okay now i'll wait in the chat box so that if all of you can just write if you were able to open the screen and i just tell you that the shortcut is control plus n if you just press control n you will be able to so i'll wait for 2 minutes for your replies
Okay, and the last thing I want to tell you that this session will be very interactive and please do feel free to write your queries in the chat box and if you even ask a question repeatedly three times, I am I can't tell you the answer. So I'll just wait for yes and no's if you were able to open the screen. Okay, so let's move ahead. I can stay. Okay, I'll just wait for two more minutes. Okay, so let's continue. So first we need to paint that. Okay, I'll just open that in screen and tell you the layout like how we'll be making it so this is our screen which we'll be using then you will have something written here like chorus okay there will be quiz written here and then there will be question one question two and question three we'll in the tutorial we'll make only three questions you can move ahead with as many questions you want, 100, 200, 300. And there will be options here like A, B, C, D. It's just like KVC. And then here, here when you, whenever you say like the answer was A, it will automatically tell you that was the answer right or wrong. Same goes for all the questions, okay? Now, since I've told you the layout, so we can start writing a code. Okay, as you know, this, this screen which I told you, this black outline mark, which is the screen which we, uh, in which the text will be displayed is this screen. I'll show you. Okay, yeah. So you need to save your file by pressing on the file icon again and uh, click on save. Give it any name, I'll give it quiz. And remember, don't give the extension because this is the original software. That might be a problem for you. Since it's already seeing Python files, if you say all files, then you need to give it an extension. Okay. Perfect. I'll save. Okay, now, here, we'll, as I told you in the last tutorial, uh, to any text, any variable, or any uh, integer, we just need to write print, put parentheses, double quotes, and if it's a string, you need to write, you can say, this is this. Okay. Now, this, whenever you run this code, just save your code before you run. There you can see. Now, as I told you, there will be a screen over here. The screen is this all. Forget this thing, this restart and all. It's just useless data. You don't have to worry about that. The screen is this and quiz here you can display. Now in Python you can't change color of the text, it's the original color only. It's not like HTML where you just put in a tag and you change out the color. Okay, now as you can see it displays this is a quiz. Now the second thing which we need is we need to tell that this was the basic, this was the heading. To use that we use comments. No, it's just uh, garbage data. Okay, so now I just come down and say here print and give it a question. For example, this might be question one, and then we can say what is the capital of India? Okay, now you must be wondering this, this will print, okay, this will print what what is the capital of India, but how will you enter the value? For example, it's A, it's B, it's C, it's D. To make that, first we need to give the options. Now the options are, for example, A is the right answer for now, as you know, Delhi. And we can, in the same line, in the next line, we can print C, 
which can be known by literally anything is just upon you. What you need to think is just your creative mind. And let's just copy and paste this. Give it CMD. And again, it's the freedom you can write anything over here. Even if you write this, it won't matter. Because I know that the correct answer is New Delhi. It doesn't matter what, whatever it is. Now we can here say Chennai. Here we can say Moscow. Okay. If I save this and just click on Run and Run Module. Here you can see this prints out A for New Delhi, B for Mumbai, C for Chennai, B for Moscow. And now the problem is... Now, if you, if you, some of you watch KBC or you watch a quiz, a B is in front of A and D is in front of C. There, there are only two lines and two columns. So, to make sure that is, I'll just copy B Mumbai over here. If your spaces and paste it. And then you can delete this. This is just the your creative mind, what you need. It's just that you're printing in a, in such a manner that the user uh, wants to play the quiz. Now, I tell you something. Whenever you go onto a website, you first see how creative it is, how beautiful it is. Then only you watch, for example, if I go on my YouTube channel, there's a thumbnail on, on the screen which tells you about Python, but my uh, how I write code is very different. And there's someone who writes code better than me. So you'll obviously take the best choice. So this is how you make things best, using your mind. Now again, save, run. Is it, oh, sorry. It's control S, not S, I just forgot. Yeah, now you can see it gives us A, B, C, D. Now it depends upon you. You want to give more spaces, you want to give less spaces. We'll go with six spaces only. I just close this. You might be wondering, again, the last question which I told you, okay, one second. This is the question I told you, you need to write A. Now, how will you write A? Currently, if we run the code, you don't get an option to write A. And even if you hit enter, this is A is not defined. Now, to solve this issue, Python has its inbuilt library, int input. So now, writing giving user an input and entering something is the two things are very similar to each other so they are not at all different now to make this easier we use variables variables are uh, things which store values or characters and flow data types okay now to solve this we take question one answer equals two now this can be anything any damn thing. You can even write Q1, answer one, anything you want. To make this small and to use it many times, I'll write it answer one. Since this is question one, answer one. Now, it depends upon what you need to type. If you need to type an uh, integer, you need to give it in input like this. And if you don't need to write an integer, you need to write a string to give it input, okay? Now here, we need to write A, B, C, D. Now, I would like to tell you that, again, I'll tell you, there are three data types. String, float, and graph. For everybody knows it's an integer. It's a very simple data type. Okay? Now, A, B, C, D comes into a string data type because it's a string, which is coded into double Okay, remember double quotes stand for a string, they do not stand for integers or they stand for float. Okay, now we need to give A, B, C, D. Now, even to make this more interactive with the user, we we'll give this input and say double quotes enter your option. Okay, now I'll just take a break so that you can write this code. Okay. I'll wait for two minutes so that all of you can uh, just... Sorry, I just, uh, you know, made some changes in the screen. Now, screen would be a bit big, so I'm just transferring here. Yeah? Done. Yeah, sure. So, maybe uh, that would be, you know, a bit, bit bigger.
So are you sharing the screen? Yeah, so should I re-share my screen? Just a second. Yeah, done. Okay. No, that's that's not needed. Okay. Perfect. Okay, uh, should I continue? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the screen is visible. Yes. Perfect. So, as I as I know, you all must have written all this code. Now, like, don't worry what all this is. It's just repetitive creativeness. Now, you must wonder why do we write print? Okay. Now, if you don't write, how will the user know? The options are me, Delhi, Mumbai, Chennai, Moscow, Australia, whatever. Okay, now, if you save this and run it, now here you can see that these three dots didn't come because we gave this answer one. This is the input. Let me just write here. What? Okay. Now, you can enter A, B, B. You cannot enter one. If I enter, for example, A, the, then the three lines come, okay? Now, let me just close this window. Uh, okay. Now, if I click on run and run module and click on run, still it gives an error because the reason which is not giving an error is we have not told it that it's an integer, so give an error. Because we don't want that if by mistake a child writes one instead of a, uh, there should be an error. Now, to uh, give these errors, conditional statements are used. So now we use conditional statements for errors, but we'll use conditional statements for checking our answers. Okay? I will write here checking the. Now we can check the answer if you type if. A, okay, now let me uh, just comment all of this right now. But do not comment all of this because I'm just uh, telling you your theory of uh, how you can use if statements. Let's make this easy. Let's say A equals to uh, 3. Okay. Now, if I say if A is less than 2, so means if 3 is less than 2, then only it should print. Oh, okay. Now, this defines that if the value of a, which is 3, is smaller than 2, then print wow. Now, I'll just run this. You must be wondering why it didn't print wow. Now, it's a simple mathematical equation. Everybody knows that 3 is greater than 2, not less than 2, okay? Now, if I change the symbol to greater than, now I want you all to write, uh, will this print wow or not in the chat box? I wait for you. Sure, perfect. We have many yes, and your answer is correct. So, uh, are you all enjoying the session? If yes, then again, please write yes in the chat box. And I want to make this session more interactive so that all of you understand Python in a fun way, okay? I want, like, to, to ratify this that A is uh, smaller than 2. Because Python comes from your mind. You can't memorize. You need to think in a way you are able to write your code. If I tell you if else, you must not understand what is if else. Now a child can understand if this happens or else this happens. But you don't know the fundamental that why is if and else used. Because everybody knows it's a conditional statement. If this is true, then run. 
if it is not then don't run simple okay now to uh, since we have understood conditional statements you can even write here else print wrong now what will happen is when you run this code currently wow will only print because it knows that uh, whenever a is greater than 2 wow should print now if i'm this less and then run it it is wrong because it knows that if a is uh, smaller than 2 then go into the else statement and print wrong okay so let me just close this so we'll just delete all of this because this was just for your reference and let me just remove all the hashtags from here and now we'll uh, check the answers okay now we'll write if the answer one is equal to now you can't write is equal to a because currently oh sorry it should be answer one now what happens is your answer one cannot be equal to answer one everybody knows we should say a because the if user enters a then only it should print your answer is right but you'll be wondering what variable is a because you have not given it quotes again i'll tell you and again i'll tell you quotes tell that is a string whatever you are putting here will come into quotes okay now just now it doesn't matter if you write double quote or a single quote okay, so i'll take single quotes here as i will take double quotes because we've used double quotes all over it now i will say if answer one is equal to a now if i tell you a very uh, like easy thing now to explain this equals to sign says that three is equal to two but if you write three equal equal to two this defines that three is it's a condition that this should be equal to two. this is three equals two but three equals equals to two defines that it should be now here again you need to put a semi uh, colon here and right here and should write here your answer is correct it is new le okay Sorry. now this says if answer one is equal to a again it should be double equals to here now to give that if your answer is not correct what will you do okay it's the same thing you write else and you don't need to give any statement condition statement here and then write in here print okay let's make this fun let's give it a little bit of joke oh two your answer is incorrect it is new Delhi. Okay. Oh, we we'll, uh, run it and test it. And here you can see that this gives your answer is correct. And now, sorry, if I again run it and write the uh, incorrect option, for example, D. And it says, oh no, your answer is incorrect. It's new Delhi. So, for ex I'll give a big applause to all of you. You have written your first question with all of your data that the question should be in, then the, your input should go, and then uh, you should check the answer if it is A or not. Now, it doesn't matter if you only write A. You can even write the answer wrong here. Okay. Now, if I press A, it would say, oh no, your answer in, is incorrect, it's New Delhi. But I said, oh yes, I said A, it's New Delhi. Now, this is a technical issue. You wrote the answer wrong here. It should have been A. Now, remember all of this or you'll be in a lot of mess. So, I'll just take a break over here so that all of you can just write the code here.
I wait for around about five minutes. Yeah, sure. Yeah, so now I'll just upload one video for the interval. Yeah, give me a moment because actually you were on uh, the screen capture. So. Yeah, sure, yeah, you are fine. Perfect. So, now the first question, let's just put here. Question. Perfect. Okay, now... This right, okay, perfect. So, yeah, we can start now. Coming over to question number two. Okay, now the question now to make it simpler. I'll just copy all of this code. Now then I'll just write it again. Now the repeated technology, okay? Now here we can write question two, which is, uh, we can take a question, who won the previous, who won the last bracket in script? Welcome. Okay. Now this might be a tricky question and I'll not take the answers. And uh, okay. You need to write the answer in the chat box. I'll wait. So I'll just give the options over here. Only the options, I'm not telling you the answers.
was it england if i'm not wrong Uh, guys i think uh, uh, shaurya is has got disconnected on a zoom call so uh, maybe he would be live in in seconds <clears throat> so meanwhile uh, uh, we have exciting things coming up and uh, uh, i hope uh, you know tomorrow everyone uh, you can spread the word uh, we have uh, we have dr unnat unnat pandit who would join us for uh, education matters uh, one of our series where we would be uh, teaching you know about uh, i mean we would be discussing more about uh, what we would do uh, or you know what is the current scenario and and how things will uh, you know change post covid so uh, we are just uh, uh, getting uh, shaurya back on on the call uh, please uh, wait for say 5 minutes meanwhile i'm just trying to put uh, a file so we have we have lot more courses available on our website you can you can go to roboka.com and we have in fact uh, the coding classes and and lot lot many things uh, which are lined up so you can you can always uh, go and and you know check out those thing that that would definitely help hello makers in recent years drones have gained huge popularity do you know that drones are used in so many applications unmanned aerial vehicles the uav is a synonym of drone drone find its application in almost all fields such as security and surveillance and the best example we all have recently seen is in the movie uri or in recent times it is also being used to deliver pizza and products we have designed a great new course to learn and master the various aspects of drones Our course includes flying drones and coding through our drone coding platform Drone Block for beginners. Our drone kit contains 10 components with a reprogrammable motherboard and a completely DIY drone. During the course you will be working on 12 plus projects which will let you fly the drone, shoot video and click pictures to code the drone. You can learn aerodynamics, critical thinking, electronics and coding. So getting into drones as your career is not at all a bad choice. Step by step guidance to create projects are available on our AI assisted online portal which helps child on what to learn, how much to learn and when to learn. First in class engaging videos with cool graphics and animation that motivates to learn more than ever before. Over a period of 10 weeks by only giving 2 hours each week, you will master the basics and you will be able to make cool drone projects on your own. You can track your report card by periodically exams taken at the end of each chapter. We have live support via video, chat and screen share to clear all your doubts. Get certified after successfully completing the course. You can create projects with our growing community of makers just like you. Be a creator, not just a consumer. Pakistan. So, uh, guys, uh, we have Shaurya back, and uh, we are sorry for the interruption. Uh, yeah, Shaurya, you are you are on your own. So and let me just tell you the answer is C in England. Okay. Now here we'll again say answer two. Now this defines that this is a variable. Like answer two should be the same thing. Let's just try and repetition.
Now, I just I saw the user input over here. And now we just simply again write the uh, a statement. But here the is is not be answer one will be answer two, and the option will not be A. The option will be C. I said that this, this is only the case. And in the print statement. We okay. Need to write uh, yes. Where is it? Okay, I'll just repeat again. We are doing the same thing. It's just the options and the input has changed. So now, one second. So now, perfect. So now we can write yes, the answer is English, and give this an else statement that if your answer is wrong, then it should be. Let's just give this a print. Or is wrong. Perfect. Now again, I'll just explain it. It's uh, what happens here. Okay, just one second. Yeah. So it's just one minute. Okay. Now uh, we'll continue from here, Rudy. Now here we first print what is the question and the options. In this line, we ask for the input for the from the user. Then in onward by giving. This should two, sorry. By giving the input which we wrote, which is answer two, and the correct options, which is C, which is English, and then we print yes if it's right and wrong if it's uh, not uh, correct. Okay? okay. Now I would again give an applause to all of you. You've completed two major questions and you've done almost half of the part of this tutorial. Now, first of all, for winding up, we'll make one last question. But this question is your personal question, okay? Now, the answer is your favorite. For example, let's say question three. Let's give this, okay. What is the Best sport in India. So, what is the best sport played in Okay, I would just tell you that this answer depends upon you. Currently, my answer will be cricket. Okay, now it depends upon you what you, your thinking is. This is the quiz which you made. So again, the answers and the questions should be or it shouldn't be mine. So it just depends upon you, okay? And let's get this course wide. Just align this up for a beautiful look. Get this answer. And yeah, just I want to mark, just change these variables or it'll be a problem for you because you can't use same variable so many times. Okay. Five, uh, four changes to make. This depends upon you guys. I don't want to in interfere in this. It depends upon you how you would rate it. Now, like if I talk about myself, I think cricket is the best sport played in the world. You might think 
football is the best sport or basketball or oh, sorry it depend upon you it is your question you are asking the question and the answer also should be yours now this is the final time we'll run a code and i'll show you okay. now what is the capital of india i'll say in delhi your answer is correct it is new delhi who won the last men's cricket world cup let uh, me let me answer I'll, let me answer uh, Say what happens if I say wrong answer, which is say new uh, India. Okay, it says India. One second. Just copy this line of code. Don't write your answer is wrong. It's India. Just write it is England. Achha. Okay, so it will display. Okay, so can you hit enter? So I think the answer is India, and it says your answer is wrong. It is England. Oh my gosh, I lost the point. Ooh. Now here it says what is the best sport played in the world. Again, this is your personal question. I would like to see cricket. Yeah, I would also like cricket. Yeah. yeah. The answer is cricket. Super. This is fun. Yeah. Just this one thing. This feels a little bit clustered. Right. Like it's one question after another. Right. All of you must be thinking, why can't we give spaces? You can. Now this will be a little bit of problem. You need to write one extra line of code, which is print dash n backslash n, not no forward slashes. What this does is, is it gives a space between it, a two line of space. Super. This helps in. Now to make this simpler, we we'll add. Everywhere. So that is print f and then uh, backslash n. No, only print. No, no, only print parentheses, double quotes, and backslash n. So far. So uh, we have a question here, uh, Shaurya. So what do you press after a so that statement comes? I think that's enter, right? You just need to press enter. Okay, I guess this question is from Maya. Okay, Maya, Nathani, you just need to press enter after you write because enter goes into the next line in your code. Now I have added backslashes here. I'll just make my code a little bit smaller. Okay, so in this question only you can see where I have added. Since all the questions are same, it's just that you are writing the code is different. Okay, now I'll just run this code. Here you can see this gives us space, and I really love this. There is a lot of space in between, and the readability goes a lot. Okay, now I'll check it. Okay, so uh, again, a uh, big applause to all of you. You make this. Now it depends upon you. You need to make a uh, five questions, ten questions, eleven questions. It is totally upon you. You can make even twenty questions. It's just that how much data you have. You have how many questions and options you have. Okay, so just wait for any questions or queries in the chat and box. So later, this code. Uh, I mean, you know, I mean, what uh, what I'm seeing here, Shorya, that I mean, it's it's a hardcore coding, and then you know, I mean, we we take the we we take the quiz. So later on, I mean, uh, people can learn about designing more UI elements and and put it and you know make it more beautiful. So that's also possible. Yeah, you can make buttons. You can use the library. It's known as Tikenter. Yeah, Tikenter. Okay. You can add buttons and you can. Like it's a graphical user interface. It's right. just like WhatsApp. Right. You just type in the keypad. Super. Okay. 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 So after this, I mean, and this would be. Would... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Please. Please go ahead. 
So if I tell you in Python, it hardly takes you around about 11 lines to write your uh, one question. But right. if I compare to C++ and Java, it'll take you around about 30 to 40 lines to write this much code. So that is probably 20% uh, I mean lines of code we write and we achieve the same result. No, 10%. Ninety percent is more in Java. Achha. Okay. Right. Python has a very simple syntax. There are very less brackets. Only like a uh, print statements use brackets. There are uh, and uh, functions use brackets. No other thing uses brackets in uh, Python. Right. It's only Super. an indentation, which I love. Super. I think uh, this video, you know, I mean, once uh, now it will be any which way is available on YouTube on on the channel and and. I think this would definitely, you know, I mean, it would uh, motivate a lot of, uh, lot of uh, uh, young, uh, you know, kids like you who would be uh, probably, you know, planning to uh, get into coding. And <clears throat> okay, uh, yeah, you should like keep practicing coding and you can make more like uh, beautiful GUIs and you can make products which are like online Amazon apps basically with Python. Now uh, okay, so there are I think there are many participants so I just wanted to share one little bit of thing. Just a second if you're sharing your screen you have to tell me because uh, just a second okay 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 okay. Okay, I just wanted to tell you, uh, you all can code, uh, the whole code, you can just mail it to me on this email ID. Okay, I'll be waiting for like all of your replies. This is my email ID. I would love to see your code, how you wrote it. And don't just copy my code, but just make more questions like, five to six questions and make it a little bit interactive for example whenever you write uh, whenever your answer is correct this score there should be a scoreboard where your uh, there should be a fun increment in your on in the score and whenever you write the wrong on when you whenever you give the wrong answer there should be the decrement in the score so i would love if all of you could just make that it's simple variables there are no operators used Okay, so hopefully all of you would have copied this mail and just wait for one more minute. Sure, sure. And I would say like, this is one of the quotes I always tell to my, myself, don't stop coding ever. Coding is a vast language which you can overcome in a little bit of time. It's all about your motivation and perseverance. It just takes two hours to complete the basics of Python and one hour to complete a project. I'm telling you my experience. True, true, true. I mean, what you're saying. So, uh, I'll just, you know, put the other screen. Just a second. Yeah, I even tell you in Python, you just don't make simple codes, self-driving car, prediction, side price prediction, stock price predictions. Right. All of this can work Python. Yes, yes. I think uh, this would be, you know, tremendous. Uh, I mean, uh, the people who would yeah. watch, uh, you know, later, so they would also, you know, feel that, I mean, nothing is possible. And, you know, if, if you can do it, uh, so they, you know, I mean, why can't they? So I think this would be really helpful. And, and uh, uh, we, uh, you know, I mean, we really like to have you uh, on our uh, fourth episode. And for you, it was second part. So I hope you liked it. Any feedback? or anything you want to suggest to you know kids at your age yeah i would suggest that i have my own youtube channel programming mm -hmm. with shwarya where i like recently upload videos on python machine learning artificial intelligence arduino so you all can like watch them and learn sure. now if you eat no python till this end you can start machine learning because machine learning is just your mind it just it's just your creativity Right. I mean, it, it is all about, uh, yes, I mean, how you can predict. I mean, it's more about prediction, isn't it? Then machine learning is a different platform. Okay. 
the coding is very different true 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 so i mean if you if you learn that and you know maybe if you would like to teach you can uh, you yeah, know yeah i like i learn that right now yeah, i so, am learning super so i mean you have taken the best uh, i mean uh, time uh, during the quarantine i mean uh, when people are locked down and and you have taken the advantage of the, that time super like i'm even trying to make a self driving car <laughs> 25% level super super it is so so i'm really happy that you know i mean it is uh, it is exciting to you know see kids like you you know talking about ml ai and and stuff but then yes i mean this is new india and i think this is the right uh, uh, way that you know i mean kids young kids uh, uh, you know <clears throat> uh, joins and then you know try to do and you know involve themselves more into tech so that i mean without we uh, probably you know getting more softwares from say us or or the other part we can you know probably get something from india only yeah okay i can see master tech 64 uh, can you teach me switch statements okay listen switch case statement is not an easy task it will take you around about 2 to 3 to understand what it is but first you need to learn functions and data types no not data types but functions for that Like switch case statements will be a part of Python, I would say. And yeah, you can contact me on my WhatsApp number. I just share you. So my WhatsApp number. You can you can tell me. I'll I'll put into the chat box. Is that fine? Yeah, I'll just tell you. Double eight. Double eight. Two six. Yes. Five double nine. Five double nine. Six double zero. Two. Okay. I can see he already knows def function. Perfect. You know def function. Then, like, I can't tell you how you can do with statements. But in the future episodes, because I don't want anybody to get confused. Yes, here. yes, yes. True. I mean, it is more knowledge, and and you know. it is always uh, great to have you know uh, even dictionary tuples list uh, all of this in the is in the machine learning thing true. this is too advanced like if i would say in the next tutorial you should learn but super, first you need to get through with all of this superb so i think uh, this would uh, call for the for the end of the session for today yeah even i would like if all of you should practice this right practice i mean uh, anyone who is you know watching this post you know the live session we would request that you know uh, please do more and more practice because it will help you to write more complicated uh, lines of code and and you know build some application around uh, uh, you know writing this lines of code and uh, we would plan to have you know more uh, uh, kids like shorya joining us and if you know anyone ask them to you know connect us we will take them and we have you know online stem contest for kids uh, all the details are available you can always get in touch with us and we would have w- one more episode coming up soon and tomorrow and day after tomorrow we have a very great session please do join us and thank you so much everyone for joining in uh, sorry are you still there yeah yeah okay thank you shorya thank you so much for joining us i just want to thank Yeah, I just wanted to thank the tapes of RoboCart and all the attendees who just attended this uh, course over here, and uh, this keeps me motivated for making more videos and working with RoboCart. Perfect. You and are. And thank you, Ritesh, sir, for any time, any time. You are on the right path, and see, coding it it definitely helps to you know develop more about logical thinking. even if you do not take it as a professional you know i mean yeah. maybe your professional career but this would definitely help you and and you know that is what we strive in and that's why we liked your work and and you know we thought that you can motivate instead of you know our people talking about you know teaching them coding so maybe you know uh, a similar age a uh, group would be more motivated and that's what we intend to do uh, you know through this video so thank you so much shorya for your time and efforts you have put in for all these days and uh, i really wish that you know you you do great in in your uh, endeavor uh, going ahead thanks shorya thank you for joining thank you everyone please like and subscribe if you like the video bye bye